The trophy has its own seat. The eighth time that the DU Pioneers have won the NCAA Hockey Championship. And I'm here with Coach Jim Montgomery. It's a fun day, huh? It's an unbelievable day. Very thankful to the Colorado Rockies for inviting us here tonight. I think uh, I think you called Desmond's two RBI double, didn't you? I did. I said he's going to come through right here. I thought it was going to be a single. I didn't call a double. So the Rock's up 2 nothing. You got to throw out the first pitch. I liked your wind-up. The delivery, we're showing it. You got a little bit of dirt, but dirt balls work sometimes. Well, there's two things playing there, you know. One, the effort was great. The execution was poor. But I knew, I thought it was Ricky Henderson of the play, and I know he's the first pitch hitter. So you might, yeah, maybe he'll swing away. I'm up 1-0, actually. So the, the effort was good, but the execution was poor. I'm sure you, you talk a little bit differently to your guys about doing both of those things correct. Yeah, they got to do both well. <laughs> and they did. How, how much fun was this season just, you know, coaching this group? It was unbelievable. It, it, it was easy coaching them because of the leadership and how committed they were to one another. But uh, everything, how much better we got and how we came through in big moments and everyone rose to the occasion, it's great to be part of something like that. Now, Will Butcher's not here. No, he's not. He's on vacation with his girlfriend. Did you hear that, guys? The Hobie Baker winner's not here, but pretty much everybody else. Gillette's here, right? I don't want him coming over. Yeah, Gillette's here. He still hasn't shaved his beard. He still <laughs> looks like he's about almost Sasquatch coming out of the woods. Tell me about growing up in Montreal, and you were an Expos fan. Huge Expos fan. I mean, uh, I remember, shouldn't be saying this in front of my student athletes, skipping school to be able to go to opening day. It, it, should, be a, it should be a national or international holiday. Anyway, it, so. it should be. It's a great event, and it's uh, too bad the city lost the Expos. Well, there's an outside chance that maybe with expansion, Montreal will get a TV. Uh, that, would, that would be great. It's a great city, and I'm sure everybody in the National League misses going to that venue. Did you have some favorite Expos growing up? Because we have one in the booth in Jeff Houston. Well, I, I remember Jeff Houston, but he's not one of my favorites. We got Gary Carter, Andre Dawson, Tim Raines, and uh, Larry Walker would probably be my top four. <laughs> Huey, he said Sorry, it flat out. I heard, I heard that that's okay. Sorry, Jeff. That's okay. You're good. No, they were my but favorites, you weren't too. You okay. were an all-star. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wasn't an all-star. Neither was but I, Jeff. Know, that's why I got into coaching. I, that's okay, can you though. Ask, can you ask that's Coach, okay. Mark, can you ask Coach Montgomery yeah. if he used Jeff's baseball card in the spokes, <laughs> spokes of his <laughs> bicycle? Yeah. Did you use Jeff Houston's <laughs> baseball card in the <laughs> in the spokes of your bicycle. <laughs> no, I, I didn't do that. I too much uh, respect for guys that made it there. Hey, I saw you got to meet Buddy Black, and I know you, I don't. You probably watched him from afar. Uh, just a quick conversation. Yeah, it was great. You can tell uh, he's a leader and, and he's a man's man because when well, he came out, shook our hands, he knew exactly uh, what we had accomplished, and he talked about the night that it was played when we won here and how everyone went nuts, and uh, that he's Canadian. His parents are Canadian. From Calgary. That's why he's so tough. His yeah, his his dad was a hockey player. Yeah, and a really good one. So we were talking about how Coach Montgomery and I guys about how he's a pitcher, Bud, and you, and you've watched pitching. You were a centerman. Yes, I was. So does that help you with forwards in particular? Or get, can I draw an analogy? Yeah, well, yes. Centers are actually the combine the, the defensemen to the wings and the rest of the forest. So there you got to know everyone's position. Kind of like a pitcher has to know what everyone's doing, especially when they're pitching a curve. Maybe like a catcher. Very much like a catcher. Going to call the shots. Yes. So that's the analogy we can draw. Right. So so you played, and you played baseball? I played baseball until I was 13. Now you can tell I'm, I'm, I'm about the size of a fire hydrant, so after a while I couldn't hit the ball out of the infield. <laughs> and that was that? That was it. Well, it's great having you here with the Pioneers and another championship. Maybe the guys can pass down the trophy. And we'll go out on this pop fly. So there, so there you go. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you.